Harry sank onto the plush leather sofa, head in his hands. The heavy drapes were drawn against the blistering California sun, casting the luxurious living room into shadowy gloom. He barely registered the muffled thump of a car door outside or Megan's familiar footsteps crossing the marble foyer. Harry? Are you in here? Her voice was a mixture of concern and confusion. He looked up as she appeared in the doorway, casually chic in white linen pants and a blue blouse. Her face crinkled into a frown when she saw his anguished expression. What's wrong? Harry opened his mouth but no words came. How could he say the words out loud? His mind was a whirlwind of shock, disgust, and bone-deep hurt. With trembling fingers, he grabbed the television remote and thumbed it on. The massive flat screen flickered to life, displaying a frozen video frame that made Megan instantly blanch. It was her, smiling flirtatiously at the camera while surrounded by piles of bird seed. At her feet strutted a large hawk, talons clicking on the herringbone tile as it gobbled up the snacks she trailed along the ground. Where, how did you find that, she whispered. It was sent to me, Harry said hoarsely. Along with dozens more just like it. You, and Tua, and Nacho. He spat out the housekeeper's name like a curse. Megan rapidly shook her head, auburn locks swaying. No, Harry, it's not what you think. He jabbed a finger at the screen, his anguish turning to fury. Then what is it, Megan? Because it looks an awful lot like you were making private hawk videos with the bloody help. Were you planning on selling them to the highest bidder? Adding, hawk pornographer, to your list of titles and accolades? Harry, please, let me explain. But he was beyond hearing any explanations or excuses. His world had been turned upside down the woman he loved revealed as someone else entirely. Sickening images flashed through his mind of her and Nacho and that damned bird, getting up to who knows what sorts of depraved acts when he wasn't around. Had their entire relationship been a lie? Harry surged to his feet, his tall frame suddenly oppressive in the small room. He couldn't bear to be near Megan, to smell her familiar floral perfume or look into those treacherous eyes. Save it. We're through, he bit out. I'm leaving. He stormed from the room, Megan's stricken voice following him down the hall. Harry, wait. Let me explain about Tua. But he didn't wait, didn't pause until he was out of that house of lies and deception. The Ferrari he'd surprised her with last Christmas growled to life, peeling from the driveway in a spray of gravel. His grip was white-knuckled on the steering wheel as he tore through the sloping hills and canyons, tears of rage and heartache blurring his vision. How could she? How could the woman he had loved and trusted, the woman carrying his future heir, be involved with something so, so twisted? The memory of her laughing on camera while Tua devoured snacks from her hand made him feel physically ill. He wanted to dismiss it all as a sick prank, but the videos had been far too authentic, too intimate. No matter how much he tried to rationalize or make excuses, a part of him knew the awful truth. Harry didn't remember driving all the way to Beverly Hills, didn't recall stumbling from the car in a daze or pounding on his friend Edmund's door. The next thing he was aware of was Edmund's posh living room, a crystal tumbler of scotch in his hand and the weight of his friend's arm around his shoulders. There, there, old son, Edmund murmured, patting Harry's heaving back. Just let it all out. So Harry did. The words came pouring out in a torrent, painting the graphic details of Megan's betrayal with the hawk, the housekeeper, the shocking videos. By the time he finished, his voice was little more than a hoarse croak. Edmund simply sat in stunned silence, Tumblr paused halfway to his lips. After a long moment, he cleared his throat. Well, I must say, I'm not entirely surprised. Based on the story, Edmund's reaction to Harry's revelations about Megan's intimate videos with the hawk Tua and the housekeeper Nacho was one of stunned silence initially. After taking a moment to process the graphic details Harry shared, Edmund stated, Well, I must say, I'm not entirely surprised. This implies that while the specifics of Megan's behavior with Tua and Nacho were shocking, Edmund was not completely taken aback by the idea that Megan was involved in some kind of inappropriate or disturbing activities. His comment suggests he may have had suspicions about her character or potential for this type of betrayal. 
The story paints Edmund as a close, supportive friend to Harry who lets him vent and, let it all out, about the heartbreaking betrayal he feels from Meghan's actions. While initially stunned into silence after hearing the wild details, Edmund's lack of complete surprise hints that he perhaps didn't fully trust Meghan or had reservations about her in the past that are being reinforced by this revelation. His reaction sets him up as a compassionate friend willing to believe Harry's word over Meghan's.